Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have had a lot of requests lately to do a demonstrator comparison. So I've got a number of demonstrators here. Now these are lower end to mid range demonstrator pens. So these do not include things like the Visconti demonstrators. But I wanted to show these to you here. Now a lot of these I have reviewed already and I do have writing reviews for these pens. For the pens I have not reviewed yet, they will be coming soon and they will have writing samples for those pens. So in this video I will not be doing a writing sample. I just wanted to just make that clear um, from the very start. So let's just look at the pens from left to right. We have the Twisby Mini AL the Twisby Diamond 580 AL, we have the Twisby Vac 700R, we have an Opus 88 Calaro demonstrator in yellow, we have three Opus 88 Calaro demonstrators in the clear finish, we have an Opus 88 Omar, we have a Wingsung 698 and that has the gold nib with it and we have a Pilot Custom 823 with the FA nib. So we have quite a few demonstrators here. So let's look at these from left to right. We have the Twisby Mini AL and this is not the VAC version, this is just the standard piston version. And you can see here, this is actually quite a small pen. And you can see here in, in the crook of my hand here, it is actually very, very small. However, what you have here on the back of the piston here are threads. And you can actually screw the cap into place and extend, if you want to, the whole body so that it actually makes it a much better fitting. So this is actually quite good if you like pocket pens or small pens and you don't have large hands then you can use this pen if you want to uncapped or you can actually cap or post the pen and actually make it a lot longer. So this is actually quite a quite a good pen. Now the Twisbees you can unscrew the sections so the, the mini uh, AL you can unscrew in the same way that you would a 580 AL. It comes with replaceable nib units so it's very easy to buy a different nib. So if you bought it in a fine nib and you really wanted a medium or a broad nib, you can actually just go and buy the extra screw-in nib unit from most retailers that actually sell and stock these Twisbees. And then we have the Twisby Diamond 580, and this is the AL version. And again, you can see here, it is a piston. So you can actually operate the piston here and this is a lot larger in the hand so you don't need to actually post this cap now the problem is if you do post it and you can do what happens is that you can effectively if you try to un try to pull the cap off you can actually eject all of the ink out if you're not careful so twisby normally do not suggest that you should post this cap but I know some people do, but I thought I'd mention that just in case. But this is actually quite a nice workhorse pen. And again, uh, you'll find that these nibs are removable. Now, these are different size nibs to the mini AL version. So you do need to make sure that if you have a 580, then you get a 580 nib. Uh, for or a 540 nib even, um, but the uh, Mini AL, if you have a Mini AL, you need to get the Mini AL nib. And then there's this Twisby VAC 700R. And so this is not a piston filler, this is a vacuum filling pen. Comes in a little bit of higher price there, but uh, and this is fully inked up, and this is inked up with uh, Diamine Colt pens, and this is Robert. And again, like this is, it's a really nice size pen that you can actually 
hold it in your hand and it's actually it flares out slightly here it's it's a really nice feel there is a bit of a step down here and I know that causes some people issues and those threads are quite large so it does you, you do actually feel those threads more if you were to hold the pen up here then down here on the section but again it's a nice demonstrator pen uh, and you can see it here in comparison really in terms of size here it's not that much larger than the 580 then we have the opus 88 so these are the Calaros and this is the the yellow demonstrator and I've done a review of this recently and if I unscrew this, this is not a piston, not a power vac, but an eyedropper. And you can see here the size of this pen in my hand. It's actually quite a large uh, pen. Now, you cannot post these caps because they will not sit on there. They're not designed to sit on there. Now, these are, as I said, an eyedropper pen. So what happens is you unscrew these. They have a little rubber o-ring here. Uh, on the threads and that stops the ink coming out and you literally just eyedropper or use an ink syringe fill the barrel then put this back on and I've done I, I've actually showed this in the review um, so if you want to go and look at uh, a writing sample or how to fill this pen go and look at the Opus 88 Calaro review uh, I've done one specifically of this pen in person and then we have the clear demonstrators here and these are really exactly the same but they are more of a frosted clear barrel or a frosted barrel with clear ends here and these are again the same size but these are quite nice and I do like these they all of the Opus 88s come with Yovo nibs the Twisbees also actually come with Yovo nibs as well uh, but they each of them have their own branding on the nibs. So the Opus 88 has Opus 88 there, and the Twisby have Twisby. But you can see here, and again, like, it's a good size in my hand, but again, this will not post. It's not designed to do so. And you do have these, what are effectively shut-off valves, and that allows you to shut off the ink if you screw it down, so that that way then it's better when you are flying that you can actually ensure that all of that ink doesn't leak out everywhere and then we have the omar the opus 88 omar and again this is another pen that i've reviewed recently as well and you can see here this material is actually quite lovely uh, in the cap here and it's a brown demonstrator now you get these in various colors now if I unscrew this pen as well, you will see here in the size of my hand, again, it is a very good size. Again, this is an eyedropper pen. So you unscrew this and you fill the barrel of the pen with ink. And if I show you, this also again has a shut off valve here where you can open this up and then pull the piston all the way back it's not actually a piston but it's a rod um, you don't really need to put it all the way back but uh, it's good if you want to grease it uh, and use silicon grease so this is quite a nice pen now you can post that pen it will post and it actually posts not too bad but it will wobble around a little bit if you're not careful so it's not something like if somebody knocked your arm whilst you were writing then maybe the cap would go flying so it's not a secure posting i would say of the pen but you can see here in relation to the opus 88 it's actually about the same size uh, and it's actually quite a nice material but the ends do taper down slightly here then we have a lucky pen and this is the Wingsung 698 and this is a pen again it's a piston filling pen so you have a piston here and you can operate the piston just like you would any other pen now the only difference here with this is that you have a click point before you actually twist the piston and that just locks it in so you can't twist it accidentally now 
this is a smaller pen it's a thinner pen but it's not as small as the Twisby Mini is but you can see here it's actually not a bad size in my hand you can post the cap if you want to it does become a little bit of a wand and uh, I do find that it's not quite secure and I kind of feel that it might not only come off but that cap might crack over time if you do continue posting that so it's not a pen that I personally would post but it's a pen that you can post if you want to and then we have a Pilot Custom 823. Now this has the FA nib. Now I have had this inked up recently. This is a, a vac filling pen, and if I unscrew it, uh, you will see here a bit of a sort of a, a pink ink. This has been inked up with Pilot Oroshizuku Suji recently, and you can see here the the size of the pen is actually quite good it again it fits in the crook of my hand here without any problems and it, it actually feels quite nice now you can securely post this pen and it does make it a little bit more of a wand but that's entirely up to you I know people do sometimes like to post uh, their caps if they uh, and it's entirely up to you I personally do not unless the pen is very small like the mini and then at that point I would potentially post it but this is a vac filling mechanism and you just unscrew this here pull it back and then you push that back and then all of the ink rushes up into the body of the pen so that's really a number of the demonstrator pens that I have here I, I have plenty more demonstrator pens but they are the more higher end like the Visconti's uh, that have swirl patterns in the body of the pens uh, I do have uh, a couple of pen BBS's uh, that have just come in and I will be doing reviews of those uh, very shortly but for the time being though uh, I thought I would just do a comparison with these so there you are, that's the comparison of some of the demonstrator fountain pens. Thanks for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.